particularly those students who are in first year and second year, they might be pondering, they might be thinking as to why should they write K. Uh, the college management, they basically first give preference to people who have done MTech from IITs, IAS, MITs. And they give very attractive packages, very attractive offers. And in this session, we are going to talk about the opportunities that the students in general has by writing gate exam or what are the benefits. Hello, dear students, boys and girls. Welcome to GFG platform. This is Dr. Khalil Khan, faculty and mentor at GFG. And in this session, we are going to talk about the opportunities that the students in general has by writing gate exam or what are the benefits, what are the avenues that the students can leverage with uh, the gate exam. Particularly those students who are in first year and second year, they might be pondering, they might be thinking as to why should they write GATE? What are the benefits of it? What are we going to get by writing the GATE exam? So then this video is for them. See, uh, while those who are in first year and second year and perhaps in third year also, they might have envisioned, they might have thought during their uh, intermediate, that is 10 plus 2, that they should, be, uh, they should have been aspiring for uh, IITs but due to some reason they cannot afford and eventually or ultimately they may be pursuing engineering courses uh, in uh, some tier 2, tier 3 colleges and maybe some people may be in tier 1 also. So at the back of the mind somewhere they might be having an idea, they might be having a thought process that Are, bhai, I should have done, I should have gone to IIT. Then I would say that there is uh, nothing to uh, worry about it, still there is another opportunity waiting for you to open your gate into the realm of IITs, into the domain of IITs, into the environment ecosystem of IITs. You can still get an opportunity to get an uh, IIT tag by pursuing higher studies that is MTech program, MS program in IITs, IASC, NITs, that is the top level institutions of the country, premier institutions of the country. So there are multifaceted benefits, huge, humongous benefits of writing the GATE exam. That is what I am going to talk about in this uh, session, okay. That is the title as you see opportunities after qualifying GATE exam. What is the GATE safe score for uh, PSU? That is another uh, thing which I will bring about. So that is the title as you can see. And before the, I start, I will tell you this is my Telegram channel. Just in case if you want, you can get enrolled into this, you can join my channel, okay for multitude uh, uh, benefits, you can uh, interact with me, you can clarify your doubts, you can share the resources and other people also will share the resources. So there are innumerable benefits. Now point number one, as you know the GATE exam is, uh, I, I, I just uh, say like other people, like uh, many of my students who are well placed by writing GATE exam and pursuing higher studies, they say that uh, GATE is like a lifeline. They have provided a lifeline for uh, the students. So of course I do agree, I do endorse with that statement that GATE is a lifeline for engineering students, particularly computer science. In the sense that you will not only get an opportunity to go into IITs but also PSUs and then improve your subject knowledge, improve your chances of uh, getting placed into level 1 product based companies, multitude benefits. So therefore nothing wrong for particularly Tier, three, tier uh, 2 and Tier 3 college students that GATE is a lifeline exam for them. So point number one that you can uh, get is uh, pursue higher education, MTech, PhD and dual degree program also, where in uh, top institutions like IITs, NITs, IISC, specialization in emerging technologies like uh, recently you might have heard, heard that many IITs have come up with a new department called uh, artificial intelligence, AI, data science department. So uh, you can basically uh, uh, get an opportunity to learn such uh, emerging technologies, get a specialized degree in emerging technologies like AI data science. And not only that, uh, you get an opportunity to get a degree, but also the fact that it provides a financial support. It provides a handsome uh, stipend uh, from this uh, government of India, MHRD scholarship. Like for GATE, it is 13,000, 12,000 something. I don't remember the exact value, 12,000 plus only. So that's a good uh, uh, financial support for the students. Second, and you can even get uh, direct PhD admission, even though, frankly speaking, personally speaking, if you ask me, I don't endorse, I don't uh, basically encourage the students uh, after BTEC to go for PhD program. 
it is always advisable because uh, if you do mtech your mind will get matured you will have some sort of maturity and with that maturity if you uh, basically go for phd then only uh, you can really enjoy the benefit but some people they say no sir will directly go for phd that is an option open that is what i am trying to say like in iic bangalore there is an integrated phd and direct phd programs so that means if you have done mtech and uh, if you desire to uh, pursue your career, if you try to drive your career in uh, research and do PhD, that is another opportunity. The same GATE score which is valid for three years can be taken uh, for PhD program also. Like IIT, IITs like Delhi, Bombay, Kanpur, Madras, Kharagpur, direct PhD for high GATE scores. Some selected NITs also provide direct, direct PhD programs. Triple ITs and other research institutes offer PhD opportunities in engineering and sciences. So you can see that. What benefits it offer you can not only do mtech but also phd program those students or those people who who, who has inherent uh, desire of uh, taking up their career in uh, teaching then it is mandatory let me tell you it is mandatory that you should have phd program and phd degree and then enter into teaching even though with mtech you can get into you can uh, absorb the position of uh, uh, assistant professor that is lecturer post but uh, it is desirable that in, in sequence, in continuation, if you complete PhD, if you do PhD and then enter into teaching stream, then you are going to enjoy a lot of things, a lot of benefits and uh, you can have a very faster uh, career growth in terms of getting, uh, what do you say, uh, higher positions like uh, associate professor, then professor, then you can also get a chance to do postdoc. So that is the advantage of it. Dual degree program, MTech plus PhD, institutes offering dual degree program, that is MTech and PhD together via GATE. IIT Mumbai is there, direct admission with GATE score, IIT Delhi, MS research program is there and PhD plus PhD for GATE qualified students. IIT Madras, direct PhD or dual degree, both are options are available. IIT Kanpur allows transition from MTech to PhD. That means while doing MTech, if you get fascinated with research, then you can basically transit your program, transit your career into PhD program, PhD for the students. IIT Hyderabad has MTech plus PhD in emerging fields, IIC Bangalore like that. And Triple IT Hyderabad also has a dual degree in AI, data science, and other fields. Okay, so what are the? I mean, coming to PSUs, what are the PSUs where the many many students are aspiring to take up a government job, like uh, in PSUs, public sector undertakings or public sector units? You have like Maharatna, Navratna, and Mini Ratna. So, what are uh, the uh, PSUs where uh, you can uh, basically stand a chance for uh, getting admissions? Okay. Uh, and uh, what are the valid gate scores that we will talk about. So therefore we have Maharatna, Navratna and Miniratna. Like what are Maharatna PSUs like ONGC, IOCL, NTPC, BHEL. Navratna PSUs like HPCL, GAIL, NALCO, etc. Miniratna like uh, RITES and IL and IRCON, etc. So let's see the details of it. Like for example, what is a safe gate score? Like what gate score you can uh, basically target, you can aspire for getting into PSUs. I have uh, illustrated the valid GATE scores that you can think for various disciplines in general category, category of EWS, OBC, SC, ST. So you can see the range of marks 70 to 75, 68 to 673 for computer science, all categories you can have a look at uh, this table. Like electrical engineering slightly less 68 to 69, mechanical again it is a slightly higher side and civil engineering is again the highest 77 to 78 for general category and like that for reservations also you can see for SCST uh, students also if you get a reasonably good score then definitely you stand a chance to get into uh, PSUs, various PSUs. Now coming to the details of the PSUs like for example if you are targeting for IOCL for computer science student the cutoff uh, lightest cutoff for the last time was general category 64.88, electronics 61, civil engineering 69.52 electrical engineering 52.33 and so on and like that for other categories you can see the cutoffs for IOCL like that for uh, DRDO cutoff for interviews computer science the score was 697 out of uh, 1000 electrical engineering slightly higher 725 chemical engineering 733 and like that for other categories you can see the scores that you can uh, think of getting into DRDO then coming to PGCIN Computer science was 67.88 again, general category. Electronics engineering 52.67, civil engineering 72.52, uh, 
electrical engineering for 46.33 for general category and like that for other categories like SCST also slightly lesser side but it is competitive it is competitive so even if you have reservation even if you have some uh, uh, reservation then also you need to be have competitive grade scores to enter into this PSUs okay and then coming to NTPC again here there is no uh, 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 entry for computer science we have electronics mechanical and electrical engineering in NTPC the cutoffs are between 60 to 80 in different streams but a CST again you can see at lower end but for SC under electrical engineering it is slightly higher so many electrical engineering students are uh, basically aspiring for NTPC and what are the other opportunities that you can basically get with uh, get score like for example in R&D research and development at BARC, ISRO, DRDO, you have JRF facilities in CSR, DST, Department of Science and Technology, funded projects and PhD opportunities are there. Means innumerable, innumerable opportunities are available for R&D also research and development with, by means of uh, or through GATE exam. Okay. And then coming to admission to MS programs abroad, there are some foreign universities which uh, you can think of doing MS program with valid grade scores, particularly in countries like I think Singapore and Germany. Germany, there are universities that accept grade scores for their MS program. So, if you are some people have seen, uh, they are aspiring for uh, doing MS programs abroad. So, in that case, I would suggest you can even think of availing or ex exercising this option, exploiting this option, that you can uh, pursue MS program in National University of Singapore or Technical University of Munich, Germany, QM. So these are the also good options available for you to pursue your career abroad. Rather than going to US and UK and other countries and spending lots of money, you can think of doing MS program in these universities. And finally, I would say teaching careers in reputed institutions. As you see, I have seen personally because I'm working as professor in engineering college, I see uh, the college management, they basically first give preference to people who have done MTech from IITs, IISC, NITs. And they give very attractive packages, very attractive offers. So therefore, if you are having an inherent desire, inherent feeling that I can teach or teaching is the best uh, uh, opportunity for me, teaching is the best career option for me, then I would strongly suggest please do PM Tech from IIT, IISCs, and NIT. And then even PhD program also. And then you can think of entering into teaching fields. You can get opportunities in New IIT itself, NITs also, IIITs also, Central Universities also, and last some top level private institutions also, like for example Mahindra Ecole in Hyderabad, right? And then Bits Pilani or Bits uh, campuses, you can stand a chance to basically uh, pursue your career in teaching option. So, my dear student, boys and girls, GATE exam is a very versatile exam. Is uh, if you write the GATE exam, it is going to open multitude opportunities for engineering students, particularly computer science. I have seen many students of uh, uh, many private tri two tier three colleges. They enroll for uh, some basic training, training technologies, and then they get themselves satisfied with uh, three lakh package, four lakh package. That is not worth for a computer science engineer. Taking a package in uh, service based companies for three lakhs, four lakhs, even six lakhs also, I don't recommend. Right? you should aspire for higher packages and that is possible if you make your career through IITs. If you are, see from tier 2, tier 3, it is very difficult to uh, take up career in level 1 product based companies like Microsoft, Google, Amazon, etc. But if you make yourself an entry into IIT campus for MTech, by doing MTech program, then you stand a chance directly to get, uh, admi uh, get a job in uh, this uh, MNCs or these level 1 product based companies. You don't have to run after them. The companies would be visiting the campuses. You can stand a chance to do internships and then you can get a full time offer also in those companies. That is the first advantage I would say. And teaching also as I said if you are having a tag of IIT, MTech IIT, many college many college managements and many college uh, administrations uh, they basically give higher packages for people who are qualified from IITs. Plus, as I said, if you basically uh, uh, prepare to the level of gate exam, right, Pre make a gate level preparation, then you stand a chance to, to, to face the interviews of uh, good companies. It will strengthen your knowledge. Plus, 
it will provide a support for for your semester exam preparation you don't have to separate separately prepare again for semester the gate preparation will enable you to write for semester exam so all together it offers a lot of benefits and in, in addition to that it will build a lot of confidence in you so that you can face any kind of interviews any kind of academic challenges right uh, any kind of market challenges with regard to uh, competition and other aspects so my dear student boys and girls so this this is a small video where i thought i should basically uh, share with you what are the multitude benefits of gate exam opportunities of uh, gate score or gate exam this is my uh, email official email id if you have any questions related to your career and other things then you can feel free to contact me i will be happy to address your queries so in view of this my strong advice my strong uh, 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 suggestion to the second year and third year students even first year students to do plan your career with gate because it is going to open up a lot of opportunities for uh, uh, not only a lot of opportunities it will strengthen your subject knowledge and it will improve your confidence to face the challenges of whatever career you opt for whether job whether higher studies or any other thing okay thank you so much take care and good night good day